good fish, good fish. Grab the net, grab the net, grab the net. Got him. Nice. Do you saw him? Oh, not bad at all. 20 inch sock. What a beauty. We are back in Southern Minnesota once again fishing the river. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I picked up this brand new 2023 tracker and we have been fishing the river for the last week. And let's just say the last few days have been quite slow. So I'm hoping we get out today, we get into some fish and we change that around. What I wanna do is I wanna throw this boat in the water, drive up river about a mile, fish the dam, fish some current seams, fish some wing dams, and try to locate some fish. Because the last couple days we didn't catch any fish, I wanna try some new spots I haven't yet fished on the river. Give those a try, hopefully catch some fish. So let's throw this boat in the water and let's go catch some fish. We have made it to the first spot I want to try today. I'm gonna take these keys off so it's not too loud. This is a little wing dam right below the main dam. And there's a few current seams that I want to fish here. So I'm gonna start out just dragging and casting a little paddle tail. Just picked up this setup yesterday. Got a Stratic on a St. Croix Victory Rod. And we're gonna give this thing a try here. Half ounce head with a small little paddle tail. I'm gonna kind of drag it and drift up and down the current seams below the wing dam. See if we can find any fish. Give it about 30 minutes to an hour. If nothing, we're gonna work up closer to the dam, fish some current seams up there. See if there's any fish here. There's honestly nobody here. It just snowed all last night and there was nobody at the boat ramp. There is nobody here. We got the whole place to ourselves. Looks like actually one boat up there to our left, but the majority of the time on a Saturday, this place is packed. So I'll take what I can get. There's really nobody here which means we can have all the fish to ourselves. We've got a three-way swivel with a foot of floral going to a one ounce paddle tail, and then a one eighth ounce little curly tail all the way at the back. So when this thing hits bottom, the one ounce is gonna drag across bottom and that paddle tail is gonna stir up the bottom where this one eighth is gonna be up a little bit higher moving. So paddle tail stirring up bottom, one eighth is really my big presentation and we're just gonna drift all the way up here. Let me try something different. I'm gonna use the same rig, but I got one rigged up with a live bait rig. So let's try that. I'm gonna try jigging this thing for a little bit. Smack the live bait. I'm gonna put it in spy lock. Felt a little slight tap there, and sure enough, she was on. Little uh, saw guy, not a sauger. It's got that little black spot right there at the bottom of the tail, and it's got the black dots. That's how you know she's a saw guy. Just a little guy, nothing crazy. Just a tiny little saw guy. Beautiful fish though, I'll take it. First fish of the day, getting started out. We've been here maybe 30, 45 minutes and I was just dragging this little current seam here, dragging the Dubuque rig with a little paddle tail on bottom and about a foot off bottom, I had that live fat head and he tapped it. That's awesome, we're gonna get back to jigging. Fishing's so much more relaxing when it's not like freezing cold out. It's like the perfect temperature. Water temperature is a good 38 degrees. Oh boy. Up that way too open. Holy cow. This current is fast. Alright, 
let's start drifting back. Got him. That's sweet. Oh, is that like one minute here? I'm gonna set her to the spot like there. It's another saw guy. About the same size as that last one. Just drifted in this super, super fast current, bouncing it. She absolutely inhaled it. Little one, still not really the size I'm after. But you know what? I'll take what I can get. Little guy, absolute beauty. You're going right back in the water. Sweet. All right, we're spot locked. You guys can't tell this current is, it's fast up here. I mean, we're moving all over the place. But where there's fast current on this nice little current seam, there's some fish. We're gonna drop right back down. I'm just gonna kinda pop this bait off bottom here just a little bit. Nothing crazy, just put her so off bottom. I'm gonna drift back though. Take it off spot lock and just start drifting backward. Oh yeah, you're right. There's no bank. Well, I mean, that's what happens when it snows three inches and rains a lot. Usually the water gets a little higher after that. I'm gonna drift all the way down this whole thing. I wanna work a bunch of water here. Good fish, good fish. Grab the net, grab the net, grab the net. Grab the net. Did I just tail hook it? Is it in the mouth? No, it's in the mouth, but the other hook's in his tail. Yep, one hook in the mouth and the other hook in the tail. Give me a starly there. I thought I had a bigger fish on. Look at this guy. Nice little 17 inch walleye. What a beauty. He had one hook in the mouth and the other hook in the tail. So I'm wondering if he ate it. And then as I set the hook, I might have pulled the other hook into his tail, or maybe that happened when I was fighting him. I thought it was a little bigger fish, but no matter what, she is an absolute beauty. Nothing wrong with this guy at all. Just jigging him right up. This is awesome. Sweet. All right, let's get back down here. Toss one up. They're drifting fast. I'm kind of slowly drifting my way down. Drifting away. Fish after fish. I'm slowly catching, catching a limit. Fish after fish. I'm slowly catching, catching a limit. I should have released that song. It goes kind of hard. Fish after fish. I'm slowly catching, catching a limit. Snag after snag. I'm slowly losing all of my baits. I should just quit this YouTube thing and become a singer. I dropped some pretty hard hits. The bite ended up slowing down, so I decided I would go fish a new spot, and I ended up meeting up with my buddy and fishing in his boat up in Red Wing. So we moved to a new spot, chased after some new fish, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. He also has a YouTube channel, which I will leave down below if you guys are interested. But we're gonna be doing some fishing now in Red Wing. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get fishing. Alrighty, we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna drop down this Dubuque rig. What are we sitting at for a depth? 14 and a half 14. feet right now. Drop this guy down. We're just gonna drag it while we're slowly trolling. There we go. Going about 0.3 miles an hour. I thought it wasn't supposed to be that windy today. No, I thought they said 10 to 20, but yeah. it feels a little windier than that. That's what I'm thinking. It's always worse when you're on the water though. Yeah, that's for sure. Basically from here, probably up to that down log that you see coming from shore right before the point there is mm -hmm. where we were catching them on Monday. Oh, nice. In, a, in about 13 to 15 feet of water. If we don't get anything once we get up to one of these points up here, maybe we'll run up closer to the dam and see if, see if anyone's in the other spot that I really like to fish. It's been too busy lately, but it's right, right off a shallow area. Mm, and I like see. pitching in there shallow. I see. Not as much current and I usually use like a quarter ounce jig and plastic. 
Everyone keeps their trolling motor down as they're running. I think part of that is, is if they have an Altera, going up and down uses a lot of battery life. And then that's actually what I do now if it's really cold. Because if you get it wet and then completely stow it, then when you go to use it again, that's when it freezes up. Hmm. Got him. Nice. Peace on? Not a bad girl. Oh, not bad at all. There you there go. We go. Nice job. It's a sog. It is. Nice, dude. That's actually a good sog. Absolutely. It's a dandy. 20 inch sog. Heck yeah. That is not a bad fish at all, guys. Look at this one. 20 inch sog. What a beauty. All right, we're gonna get this guy right back in the water. Nice little fish. There you go. All right, first fish of the day is knocked out. That's what I like. Now we just gotta catch some more. All right, get this guy back down here. Let's see if we can get a really big one. Oh yeah. Pretty good one for a sauger though, that's what I'm happy about. Absolutely, that was a nice sauger. 20 inch sauger. She's back, living to see another day. Make some more for us to catch later. Yep, or some some guy who's just keeping them. You know? Yeah, or, the, or that. That's what I was worried about. I was like, I'm putting them back in the water. I hope some kid catches it, you know? Right. I'm hoping like some you know, 13, 14 year old that makes his whole day, yep. makes his whole week. But you know, the majority of the time it's some dude who's just sitting here, not a care in the world, just wants to keep fish. But maybe it'll give him a good fight. I like to keep fish every once in a while. Usually I keep one limit in the spring, one in the fall down here, and then over the summer I'll keep a couple limits of panfish, never yeah. from the same lake or anything, but. I don't usually keep fish, unless I'm filming a catch and cook. I like to get them back. I enjoy the fight and the challenge. I actually enjoy the challenge of catching them. I do too. I enjoy, like, like I don't care what I'm using. There's a reason I don't use Ned rigs for bass. I don't use, you know, anything like that. I like power fishing. I don't like throwing jigs. Right. I like a challenge, but. Yeah, all we're doing, guys, is we are literally taking Dubuque rigs, which if you don't know what that is, it's a three-way rig. I'll have it up on screen right now. And we are just dragging at 0.3 miles an hour upstream, 14 feet of water, dragging it. And we're basically going right past the fish. So the fish aren't going to come to us. We got to come to the fish, and we're dragging it right past them super slowly. And we're catching some fish. We're going to keep making our way up here, and if we don't get anything up there, we might try this spot one more time. Otherwise, we are going to go try another spot. We'll see how it goes though. We still got a little bit left at this spot. I'm surprised that uh, Sauger ate the bottom rig. I don't yeah. know how to meet the top ones. The, really? The Haven't had to meet that juicy paddle tail. He hit that thing hard though. Usually the ones I've had have just like, I, I've been moving it like this and I feel, oh, it's on. That one, he like smacked it. Actually down. smacked it, huh? I'm impressed. Proud see, of and that's what I like. I like being able to feel the bite, not trolling where oh there's a fish on yeah i fished one of the days it was like 40 mile per hour winds and freezing out it wasn't freezing it was, it was above like 32 yeah but it was cold the real feels like negative four really and i went out there and i was the only guy out there and i was thinking you know like i'm the only guy out here this is insane i didn't catch anything i was pissed it's the worst thing because i don't have time out there so i don't catch anything Ooh, fish? that's a big fish get in the net it's not quite as big as I thought, but it's good. It's a big sauger, I believe. Oh, nice. Nice. And unhooked. That wow. That is a stud. It's a walleye. That's a beauty. Definitely a nice one. Oh, yeah. Give me nice some chunky. Girl. Let's go. Nice. Congrats, Thanks, buddy. Chunkosaurus. Got a nice one there, guys. Oh, yeah. Probably about... 21, maybe 22. She is a beauty. Get a measurement quick. Yeah. There she goes. Ready to go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Nice, nice Good fish. release. All right, let's get right back down. So I'm running a little bit of a different setup here. I'm just running a three quarter ounce or one ounce hair jig. That one's orange and yellow with a stinger hook on there and a fat hood. No, uh, no plastic by itself, so. Nice. 
Alrighty folks, the bite slowed down a little bit, so we ended up heading out. I'm fishing a new video right now, but I realized I didn't have an outro for that video. So I just want to go over, we fished a couple different spots. I started out today in the Winona area, and then that didn't work out too well. So we went up and I fished with a buddy up in Red Wing. We caught those two fish, we had a great time. And honestly, the bite is quite slow right now. I've talked to some people, they say it's really good. I've talked to other people, they say it's the worst they've ever had. For me personally, this is kind of one of my first or second years fishing the river. So I'm still trying to get used to everything. But the bite has been quite slow for the last week compared to the week before that. But that has to do with, I mean, it's a little bit of flooding right now. There's a couple flood stages in some of the spots. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. It was kind of all over the place. We started out in one spot and then we went up to Red Wing when I fished with a buddy at a different spot. So we fished a couple different spots, gave it a try, fished some spots I've actually never fished before. Nonetheless, we caught some really nice fish. I do have to say, we caught some gorgeous, gorgeous Mississippi River walleye. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, not my normal outro, but I realized I didn't have an outro film for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, because there will be new Mississippi River fishing videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.